Hey there, do-it-yourselfers. You may not know this, but every day in this country, extremely serious arguments happen over the interwebs, all regarding whether you should put premium gas or regular gas in your car. So today we're gonna do some good, save people time and arthritis in their fingers, and put an end to this. So pull up a chair, relax, and watch this video, cause we're gonna have some answers today. Sorry guy, not you. You're the one making this video. God damn it. All right, so obviously you may have noticed at the gas pump that the premium gas has a higher octane rating. Now as far as what octane rating is, well, in simple terms, the higher the octane rating of gas, the more resistant that fuel is to what people call engine knock, spark knock, or detonation. And now let's explain what engine knock or detonation is and why it's bad. All right, so let's explain it on this engine. So here, as you can see, here's your cylinder block, here's your piston, here's your cylinder head, this goes on top of this obviously, and here's the area where it's considered your combustion chamber. And if you look very closely, here's your spark plug, which obviously is responsible for igniting the air fuel mixture. Now detonation or engine knock is when a second ignition of the air fuel mixture happens after the initial ignition by your spark plug. All right, so let's assume this cylinder is coming up on its compression stroke. So what happens is your car's computer through the crankshaft sensor well, at some degrees before top dead center, now let's just assume 20 degrees, will produce a spark at the spark plug using your ignition coils and your spark plug and ignite the air fuel mixture that's being compressed by your cylinder. Now there are quite a few different things that could go wrong which end up causing detonation or engine knock, but all those things that go wrong end up resulting in excessive heat in the combustion chamber which then results in detonation. Now when you have detonation or engine knock, your course computer can sense that through your knock sensor. And because detonation is both an inefficient way of burning the air fuel mixture, but not just that, it's also bad for the internal parts of your engine. When your course computer senses that, it will retard, AKA Donald Trump, or delay your ignition timing. So again, let's assume we were having an ignition timing event occur at 20 degrees before top dead center. It will retard or delay that and make it occur at let's say 10 degrees before top dead center. And by delaying ignition timing, you reduce the pressure inside the combustion chamber, therefore reducing heat, which in basic terms gets rid of your engine knock problem. Now as far as why delaying ignition timing is bad and how it relates to whether or not you should put premium gas in your car or not. All right, so let's assume this engine is under heavy load. Maybe it's towing something or racing someone or it's at wide open throttle. There's a lot of air being sucked in a lot of fuel into the combustion chamber, uh, the ignition of the air fuel mixture is causing a lot of heat, and that heat is causing detonation. Therefore, your car's computer has to delay the ignition timing to let's say uh, 10 degrees. So normally, let's say this is 20 degrees where ideally you want your ignition timing, but it has to wait and delay it until 10 degrees before top dead center, let's say here. And that part of delaying or retarding the ignition timing is bad because by doing that, you're reducing the pressure inside the combustion chamber, which means the air fuel mixture is also under less pressure. So when it gets ignited by the spark plug, it doesn't expand as strongly as if we're under more pressure when it started to get ignited by the spark plug, which results in less force being applied to this piston as it starts to move down on its power stroke, which means less power coming out of your engine and probably worse gas mileage. So hope that made sense, but here's where premium gas or a higher octane fuel is beneficial. So as we explained, higher octane is more resistance to detonation. So that means if you're using higher octane fuel in this engine, the car's computer does not have to delay the ignition timing. It can make more power from the same amount of fuel and therefore improve your MPG. All right, next let's talk about a second scenario where using premium gas or higher octane rating fuel can come in handy. And that is if you have, a, let's say a sports car, or a high, per high performance vehicle that has high compression ratios. Because if you have high compression ratios, as that air fuel mixture is being compressed into a smaller area, you produce a lot of heat, and that heat again can cause detonation, which leads to delaying or retarding the ignition timing, which produces less power. Now as far as what are compression ratios? Well, compression ratios are when you're compressing the maximum cylinder volume into the minimum cylinder volume. So let's just assume this is at bottom dead center and the volume in this area, including the combustion chamber, is let's just pick a round number and say one liters. And then assume as this comes up to top dead center, that's your minimum cylinder volume, which is just this area at the top of this piston 
and the area inside the combustion chamber and let's just assume that's 100 cubic centimeters or one tenth of one liter then your combustion ratio for this is going to be 10 to 1. So yeah, let's assume you have a sports car that has a 14 to 1 compression ratio. That, much, that big of a compression ratio can produce a lot of heat and is going to use engine knock. And that's why a lot of these sports car manufacturers require you to use premium gas. Now you might say, hey, that's why there is a knock sensor on the engine. Its job is to tell the computer there's knock so it can delay timing, so I can put regular gas in my uh, premium gas required vehicle save money on gas and nothing bad is going to happen. That's not going to be the case for cars that require premium gas because, you know, delaying ignition timing can only avoid engine knock or detonation to a point. You have a car with high compression ratios, no matter how much you delay ignition timing, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to get rid of engine knock. So if there you have a car that requires premium gas, you must use premium gas. Now on the other hand, if you have a car that's supposed to run fine on regular gas, but you want to put premium gas in there, because you think uh, maybe the car will run cleaner because you have to go to an emissions test or maybe you think the additives in the premium gas is going to help clean your fuel system. Well, that's the, not going to be the case as far as cleaning the fuel system goes because all gases, all the different grades are supposed to have additives in them uh, in order to take care of your fuel system. That's by law. Now, as far as whether premium gas will help your car run more efficient and produce less emissions, by itself, it doesn't. It's the same amount of emissions, but if you have a super old car where maybe it has higher compression ratios than it's supposed to because there's a heavy buildup of carbon on top of the pistons, then if you put premium gas in there, maybe it will run more efficient, maybe not have engine knock, therefore the car's computer doesn't have to delay timing. Maybe in that sense, that car can run cleaner and have a better chance of uh, passing an emissions test, but by itself, the premium gas doesn't actually, uh, is not cl cleaner. Than the regular gas. But here's the million dollar question. What if you have a car that recommends premium gas but does not require it and actually runs fine on regular gas? Should you still use premium gas or use regular gas and try to save money? Well for starters, you know, you can do a simple math equation. You know, where I live, premium gas is about 10% more expensive than regular gas. Now with premium gas in these cars, you are probably going to gain more, uh, get better MPG, but is it 10% more and to in order to justify spending that extra money on premium gas. Now it could be depending on your driving habits. So for example, do you have a right foot that's made out of lead? Does the yellow light to you mean step on it? Do you like to tow? Do you always try to get first in line behind the red lights just so that you can race the car next to you? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you should probably use premium gas in your car if it recommends premium gas. On the other hand, do you drive like a grandma? Does the green light to you mean the next light is yellow, therefore be cautious and ready to make a stop? Do you do the speed limit in the fast lane? Do you not know the number of cylinders your car's engine has? Hell no, I don't need a turbocharger. Now if you answered yes to those questions, you can go ahead and put regular gas in your car that recommends premium gas and you'll be just fine. So there you have it. Now it's my turn to relax and watch a YouTube video. I'm gonna watch this one right here about horsepower and torque and where Ratchets and Wrenches talks about James Watts' wife. She was uh, apparently quite a lady. If you don't want to watch that, you can also watch this one or click on any of my videos in the suggestion box. They'll all work as well. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.